Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today we will be creating this fun Happy Valentine's Day card using products from Simon Says Stamp and Lawn Fawn. To get started, we're going to go ahead and use the Tossed Hearts Cling Stamp from Simon Says Stamp to create the background of our card. So I'm going to go ahead and start by using my Misty. And because this is a red rubber cling stamp, we're going to go ahead and take out the foam pad in the Misty. And I'm actually going to use this a little bit backwards and put the cling stamp inside my Misty instead of on the door. The colors I'll be using for the background come from Gina K Designs Dye Ink, starting with the color Light Carnation. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the upper half of the card panel and using a blender brush to help smooth out the transition line between the lighter color and the medium color. Because I'm using ink cubes, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp a second time to make sure I have even coverage and still using my blender brush to go ahead and even out the transition line. I also wanna apologize for my desk lights. I didn't realize how bad the glare was um, when I was recording this video. So I know they're a little bit distracting. So now we're going to go ahead and stamp using the medium carnation color for the center of our panel. I'm going to go ahead and stamp and then use my blender brush to even out the transition line from the light carnation to medium carnation. And then we'll go ahead and stamp a second time to make sure we have even coverage. Again, we'll use the blender brush to even out the transition line so that way there isn't a harsh line between the two colors. And then we'll come in with the third and final color, which is the dark carnation. And by doing the three colors, we'll get a really nice ombre effect. Once again, using the blender brush to soften the line between the dark carnation and medium carnation. And then I'm going to go in a second time and stamp it twice to make it nice using the blender brush to smooth out the lines between the dark carnation and medium carnation so it is a nice seamless blend. So now that we're done stamping, I'm going to go ahead and use my stamp chamois to clean off my stamp. Using the light carnation, I'm going to ink blend around the edges of the first half of my card panel using a blender brush. And then I will switch to dark carnation and ink blend the bottom half of the card panel, leaving the center of the hearts white. So once I'm done ink blending the edges of the card, I'm going to go ahead and switch to creating the two mini envelopes that we will go ahead and attach to the front panel of our card. We will be using the mini interactive envelope die set from Simon Says Stamp. I went ahead and picked out two pattern paper designs from the Lawn Fawns Knit Picky Winter 6x6 paper pad. I thought they were fitting since the designs were mini hearts and go with the theme of the card. You want to be careful when lining up the mini envelope die, making sure your hearts are lined up so when you go to assemble the envelope, they're lined up in a straight line. Once my envelopes have been cut out, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the die that cuts out the card that fits inside both the mini envelopes. I'm going to go ahead and use my sidekick since it is a smaller die cutting machine. Um, I find it easier to cut them out instead of using my Gemini. And I'll go ahead and cut out two of them since we have two mini envelopes that will be on our front panel. And I'm also going to cut out the little heart that also comes with the die set. So I'm actually going to cut out the hearts four times, two from plain white cardstock, and then I'm going to use the same heart die and cut out 
one from red glitter paper and one from white glitter paper to match the two envelopes. And the reason I cut the two plain white cardstock envelope, or excuse me, hearts, was because the glitter paper is really thin. And so I wanted to make sure, since it's an interactive envelope where the flap lifts open, that the hearts were sturdy enough um, and they didn't tear or fall off. So once I was finished cutting out the hearts, I also wanted to cut out little mini heart confettis. And um, Lawn Fawn has two die sets that come with the little heart confetti dies and they are from the Heart Shaker Gift Tag die set and the Say What Gift Tag die set. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out um, using the scraps of the red glitter paper and the white glitter paper. Again, I wanted to make sure that they match the envelopes that they're gonna go ahead and go inside. And so to keep them separated, I went ahead and um, used just kind of a a little container or a jar or anything that you might have on your craft table to make sure that the hearts are not, um, that they stay separated. And so here I'm going to go ahead and cut out the white confetti hearts and then I'll go ahead and put them in a separate jar or container or whatever you have on your craft table because the little heart confettis were so small, um, it was really easy to use my craft pick to go ahead and punch them out. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and use the Love Poem Stamp Set by Lawn Fun to go ahead and stamp on my mini card. So I do use my phone to record my videos and unfortunately at this point, uh, my phone had died while I was recording and I didn't realize it, um, but it's okay because it's just simple stamping. Here I use the Push Here stamp set from Lawn Fawn to go ahead and stamp the Pull Here sentiment. And the heart came from the Love Poem stamp set from Lawn Fawn and I used the Light Carnation and Medium Carnation for the two-tone stamping. Using the same Love Poem stamp set, I went ahead and stamped the inside. I could have just texted, and this will go in one of the envelopes, and I used the same hearts confetti um, to decorate the inside and outside. And for the second mini envelope, I decorated the same way, but instead swapping the white hearts glitter hearts for the red ones and that sentiment said but I made you this card. So now we're going to go ahead and assemble our mini envelopes. Super easy. The die does create the score lines for you and I just use a bone folder to really crease my lines to have a crisp line. And when you go ahead um, and assemble the mini envelopes and if you're using pattern paper you just want to make sure that you pay attention to the direction of your pattern. Um, I kind of made that mistake in this video. I did learn my lesson, but because there are many hearts, one of the envelopes, which I believe is the spread one, I end up gluing the hearts upside down. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can see it in the video. Um, I do use my Gina K Designs Connect liquid adhesive because it is my favorite adhesive. So not only did I glue them upside down, but I also missed. <laughs> um, but I left it in just to show how to assemble the card. And uh, the final card, I do realize that my mistake and I do fix it. So earlier in the video, I spoke about the mini heart um, and why I cut them out so many times. And here I'm going to go ahead and assemble the heart onto the mini envelope. So I'm gluing the glitter heart to the front and then the cardstock heart for support to the back to make sure that it is nice and strong since we will be lifting the flap of the envelope. And so here I'm going to go ahead and fill my little note with the white heart confettis making sure it matches 
um, the card and matches the envelope that it's going inside and it fits nicely. So I'm kind of spilled out, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and slide them in. And then here is the red one. Oh, I did end up having a screenshot of it. Again, filling the red hearts inside. And then go ahead and putting it in the matching envelope. And again, using the Push Here stamp set from Lawn Fawn to stamp look inside so the recipient knows to read the little notes inside the mini envelopes. For our sentiment, we will be using the Simple Valentine's Day die set from Simon Says Stamp. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that out of the red Tim Holtz Ideology Metallic Colors cardstock. This pack comes with um, quite a few different colors and they're all just so beautiful um, but I felt like the red was fitting for our theme. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut out that sentiment and I'm also going to cut out two additional sentiments using just plain white cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and use my liquid adhesive to glue them together um, and by doing so this is what's going to give us our added dimension. I find this a lot easier to add dimension to my sentiment instead of trying to cut out uh, little pieces of 3D foam squares or foam tape. Using liquid glue is nice because it gives you a little bit of wiggle room making sure all your letters line up. And so now we'll move on to adhering our front panel to our card base. This is a top folding four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card. Um, using my liquid glue, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere again the front panel, but I like to adhere my front panels upside down. That way if I had any extra card base sticking out, I can go ahead and adjust by cutting it off at the bottom. You can't really do that at the um, fold. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and use some temporary adhesive to make sure that my envelopes stay shut, um, but it also allows the recipient to open them. Um, wanna make sure that the confetti doesn't fall out. And here I'm gonna kinda line everything up to make sure there's the correct spacing and everything looks great before I glue everything down using my liquid adhesive. I'm going to go ahead and glue my envelopes first to make sure that I have enough room for my sentiment. One thing I needed to keep in mind was the order in which the recipient was going to read the mini envelopes and that so happened um, to be the white envelope. That was the one that needed to come first since I had stamped I could have just texted followed by the red envelope that read but I made you this card. So we'll go ahead and use some liquid adhesive to glue down our sentiment. It allows us some wiggle room to make sure everything is straight and lines up. Using the same red metallic cardstock from Tim Holtz and the heart confetti die from Lawn Fawn's heart shaker die set, I went ahead and cut a few more hearts to use as embellishments to finalize the card. I liked how the heart embellishments match the sentiment and I like using odd numbers as I felt it is more aesthetically pleasing to the eye, but if you wanted, you could add more than just the three. I found it easy to use my embellishment one to pick up the hearts and to glue them down with some liquid adhesive as I can push them around um, until I found the perfect placement. So here's the final card. Thank you so much for stopping by. I would love it if you could please give me a thumbs up. Happy crafting! Bye.